Our simple issue is that South Africans are without work. Too many people are left out. The ANC, under the leadership of the Guptas, have found a way to capture institutions. And Minister Gigupta was deployed here for the sole purpose of capturing treasure. It's become quite clear that he's simply sent here by the Guptas. Our challenge is this, is that if we want the 1.4 trillion rands budget that gets tabled in Parliament, we must make sure those resources are for poor South Africans, are for South Africans' education and health care, to make sure that whether it's at local government, provincial government, national government, we can deploy basic services. And we can't, in a country that is facing a recession, continue to afford where we have ministers whose primary interest is no longer South must go, along with the whole of the ANC, because in truth, we want a South Africa that is free from corrupt crooks so that we can ensure that our resources are used for the people. Times are tough for our people. They are getting harder. And what I'm saying is, whilst we are in a recession, if we have a leadership that is deployed from sex and wealth, we will end up in a situation that is worse than where we are now. We need change and we need it urgent. Well, a protest is but one of the many actions that we've got. As you know, we are opposing actions in, in court against uh, all the other actions that are taking place. So whether it's on Brian Molefe, whether it's in all... Um, uh, whether it's on Brian Malefe, even including Jacob Zuma. But you can recall, in Parliament, I've requested that there must be an ad hoc committee that investigates collectively all the issues around the emails and also that Gigaba must come and account before it. And therefore, he must come. Because whilst we have these disbursements, already now SAA are enjoying bailouts. South Africa's taxpayers' money. Treasury has to adjudicate on that. And whilst there are people at Treasury who are stealing money, we can't just keep bailing them out. So we've got to take a collective action in Parliament, on the streets, and also in the courts to make sure we ultimately bring change in South Africa.